If you're a current resident of Smith Lake, or if you've recently visited, then you've probably noticed that the water levels are significantly lower for this time of year than normal. So is Alabama Power preparing to drain Smith Lake once and for all? Let's find out. I'm Lacey Kilpatrick, your local Smith Lake realtor and resident expert. I grew up on this lake and I have lived in this community my entire life and I have never heard so much chatter about the lake possibly being drained. Now, a lot of this commotion stemmed from a few whistleblowers who created some fake news and posted it in one of the Smith Lake Facebook page groups. And I will say it was extremely convincing because they even created an Alabama Power letterhead and everything to go along with it. So we even had one of our neighbors that texted us a picture of it and they asked if it was a reliable source. The post was created in April this year and it was really just as an April Fool's joke and my gosh was it a dang good one because it spread like wildfire. So now fast forward to June and Alabama Power is actually draining the lake. On June 28th, Alabama Power Shorelines Maintenance released a blog statement talking about the minimum drawdown that they were going to be doing. The keyword here is minimum. They're not actually draining the lake hundreds and hundreds of feet. But the sequence of events sure did have residents questioning what was going on. There were rumors that there was, gonna, there was a hole in the dam and that water levels were going to be dropping 90 feet and that they were draining the lake and a whole slew of other things. So let's talk some facts. In the ATCO statement that was released, Alabama Power discussed their plans to slowly begin to lower water levels beginning around July 1st for scheduled maintenance on the hydropower plant at Smith Lake Dam. Every year, Alabama Power begins to drop water levels starting about July 1st from the 510, which is 510 feet, which is our summer full pool level, to the 496, which is our low pool, our winter pool level. This is normally like a gradual drop through December, depending on rain or lack thereof. And you know, let's keep in mind, again, this does happen every year, but this year, Due to the required maintenance on one of the generators, the drop is happening at a much faster pace. That's why people are noticing it more. So this is gonna continue through August 15th. The water will drop from the full pool at 510 to around 500 feet, and then to the 496 by the middle of November, where it will stay for the winter months. Alabama Power's Reservoir Management Manager, Lisa Martindale, said, the drawdown is necessary as we continue to manage Smith Lake during the scheduled maintenance. Since lake levels will be somewhat lower than normal during this time, we ask that precautions are taken as people to continue to enjoy the lake. So Smith Lake is not being drained. It's general scheduled maintenance. Smith Lake is a man-made lake and contained by a dam that started service in 1961. I think it's entitled to some general maintenance as needed to keep our lake happy and healthy. You can continue to use and enjoy the lake during this drawdown period. You just simply need to be very cautious and aware of your surroundings while you're boating. Some areas of our lake are hundreds of feet deep while others get very shallow and very quickly. So, you know, there are many new property owners and visitors to our lake that need to take advantage of this lower level water period. Smith Lake is a man-made lake and in many areas, trees and jut outs exist um, that during normal water levels, they're covered. So learning these areas while safely boating the lake will help those that are not familiar with our normal lake terrain. Now, if you are a property owner here on Smith Lake, some other things to watch out for are things like with the rapid drop in water levels over the next couple of weeks, proper adjustments to dock cables is vital. Cables that are too slack or too tight will cause damage to the dock. 
cables and winches and that can ultimately lead to your dock breaking loose and floating down the lake and we all know if that's happened to you that that can be some costly repairs another thing to consider is with the lower lake levels it's a good time for residents to get a head start on some shoreline maintenance before the colder winter months just keep in mind that you do have to apply for the necessary um, lake shore use permits before beginning any construction along the shoreline so if it's below that 510 level you have to have a permit for it you can get those permits by calling the local shoreline management office or visiting the apc shorelines.com slash permits I will put all of that info down in the description below of this video so you don't have to search around for it. We may not love the water drops, but it does have its benefits. So my advice is to use this time wisely to clean up your shoreline, add some riprap if you have some erosion issues, and remove dead trees and brush that normally would be pretty difficult to get to. If you're new to Smith Lake, welcome. We're so glad to have you. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If you have any questions during this time, please feel free to reach out. I am always here to be a resource for my clients. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.